Have you ever wondered how well soft pastels and acrylic paint lay on top of each other? Join me today as I figure it out. Hi there, I'm Janine, I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. I mainly paint with acrylics in lots and lots of layers. And I also like to use soft pastels every now and then. Usually I only use it in small amounts, like a line here and there. But I want to test out how far I can take layering the two. I want to try experimenting with soft pastel a bit more. Pretty much all of the ones I have are Jackson's own brand. And I do really like them. I didn't buy any of their sets, but I did buy individual colours that I really liked. So I actually bought these first and then whatever I thought I was missing, I bought these. And I do have a really, really old one, um, a set from Rembrandt. And these are all the um, like basic primary colours and that, which is why I haven't got those in the Jackson's pastels. But I'm assuming that I'm just gonna use those today, because I usually do. And I want to try and layer them with acrylics, which I have done in the past, but I've usually just um, layered lines and then maybe smudged them a little bit. And then added acrylic on top or vice versa. But today I want to see how far I can go with the layering. So I actually wanted to start with... I actually wanted to start with acrylics and then let that dry. And then I've got another sketchbook that I can work on in the meantime. So I'm just going to start layering some colors. I just picked out colors that I could grab easily. So I haven't really planned a color palette. So while that dries, I'm going to move on to another page. And if you're wondering, I usually I always put my materials in the description box uh, below. But these are the Royal Talons Art Creation sketchbooks. In the smallest or like a medium size, I can't remember what the size is, but you'll find it down below. Now on this one, I'm just going to start with the soft pastels. Let's just start with this orange. I'm going to do some quite larger areas and I always love smudging them with my fingers. There's something very satisfying about them. I think the main reason why I like to smudge them with my finger is because then the dust doesn't go everywhere. It goes on my finger. And I'm also going to layer over that with some acrylics. I'm layering over most of it, but I'm still leaving little bits exposed. Because that is usually the way I work when I own or work mainly with acrylics. I like to layer a lot and also leave little bits exposed. And a lot of this is still quite wet paint. I'm going to try going into the wet paint with the soft pastels and then I don't really want to smudge it because then I got paint on my hands and the 
the soft pastel kind of merges with the wet paint so the pigment the loose dust from the soft pastels is kind of getting glued to the paper with the paint it's already quite dry here and you can of course blend the colors together the soft pastel color What I also always really like is once you've got brush strokes from acrylics and you go over them with your fingers and soft pastels, the ridges really show up very well. And the thing I really love about the soft pastels is that you can make these really lovely blended soft edges. How's the other one looking? Pretty dry. I love those little pops of bright orange here. And then I'll go back over the soft pastel with acrylics. And once you go over the soft pastel, it really just mixes with the soft pastel. It doesn't really have it as a layer underneath. So if you're very particular about your colors, you have to factor that in because the color of the soft pastel will mix with the um, color of your acrylics. If you like this video, consider subscribing i let that dry again and move back to the other one. I might add a little bit more of the soft pastel here. And back in with the acrylics. Acrylics. You see here it kind of is picking up the dust. Now that there's more layers the paper isn't really absorbing the that dust anymore. It just sits on top of the acrylic which is basically plastic. It's obviously better if you use a fixative in between the layers. And then I'll go back into that with my soft pastel. And I'll let that dry and move on to this one again. I never use these acrylic colours, but I actually really like what they make. They're not my usual colours. Maybe that's why I'm enjoying them so much, because it's something different for me. color I'm not so fond of here is the um, that very cool purple. But I don't mind little bits of it. 
as a contrast to the other colours that are there. I might also try using a little bit more diluted acrylics with water to use more of a wash because that'll mix with the soft pastel as well. Sending shivers down your spine It's enough to make you lose your sense and then I'll also use some more diluted paint here. And I'll just mix a little bit of the soft pastel here with water, make kind of a watercolour. I'm actually quite happy with the end result. It wasn't, that wasn't the goal. But I like how I played with some different colours and I definitely want to incorporate more of the soft pastels into my work again. I used to use it quite a bit but then I sort of went off it, I'm not sure why. Probably because there are just too many exciting materials to play with. One thing worth mentioning actually is that Golden makes a medium called Pastel Ground that creates a transparent layer on top of your acrylics and it's got some sort of grit texture to it which just means that the soft pastel stick better to the surface. I really think that the soft pastels and the acrylics mix very well together but once you already have a thick layer of the soft pastel then the acrylic doesn't really stick to it but instead you can mix that pastel dust into the paint while you're going over it and then once the dust is saturated with paint and dry it you can then layer on top of it again. If you're interested in how I use water soluble wax pastels then you can watch my review of the Neo Color 2 crayons up here. Thanks and bye bye!